up y'all welcome back to the youtube channel welcome back to june know the vibes make sure i like comment and subscribe so i just want to come here to encourage you guys and to know to encourage you guys and to let you guys know there's nothing wrong with having a nine to five okay i was able to quit my nine to five um a while back during COVID because i became a live streamer it was very popular you know we were inside we you know everybody was inside so people were on their phones more and on um, not outside you know the entertainment was the phone social media youtube all the things right and i was able to quit my job and do that full time because it was something i love to do and i was able to do it and people pay for entertainment just like they pay for a subscription service right you might pay for netflix or anything like that you know you pay for entertainment and people would do that and that was a blessing you know i'm very grateful for that but i don't want you guys to feel bad about having to work a nine to five or go back to nine to five or whatever your journey may look like there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with starting over. There's a lot of good companies out there you can work for, or if you're only doing, a, you know, you can climb the ladder in those companies. But also, if you're only doing a nine to five, just so you can get to where you're going, so you can also, while also working on a business at the same time, so one day you don't have to work that nine to five, and you can do your business full time, but right now your business isn't bringing in full time money, right? So I just want to encourage you guys like to keep going. Don't feel bad about not having the aesthetic. Don't feel bad about not doing what a lot of other people do. Like that's just not, that's not always what it is. Not, not everybody's going to have that same journey. I know social media makes it look like we're supposed to be doing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But it's like not everybody has the same life. And really when you think about it, it's like why do we want to do something everybody else does? Like just because it comes the new norm, because it comes the new norm, like no so yeah i'm just here to tell y'all like it's okay to still have a nine to five it's okay to drive a car that's paid off that's not no big fancy car like it's really not that deep y'all okay do what makes you happy make smart decisions now in this you know in this time of life like make smart decisions now that way later you can go all out you know don't try to live outside of your means to try to you know keep up with the the other people to keep up with your your friends or to keep up with people on social media we don't even really know what they're going through in life y'all we don't know what it's going on inside internally like we just know what's being shown to us and most people when they post they only post the good so they don't always post the bad some people post both but most of the time it's just the good so yes i wanted to encourage you guys and let you guys know it's okay to work a nine to five it's okay to drive a 2001 car if it's still able to get you from a to b it's okay to do these things like it's okay to not wear lashes it's okay not to have your nails done it's okay not to have your toes done like if you have to take a break from these things it's okay not to have a haircut like we're not always going to be so put together we're going to go through rough stuff like this is just real life y'all you know, you might have to work a minimum wage job until you find something better. You, okay, you might have to do side hustles until you side hustled out. I don't know. You know, you might have to work 12, 14 hours a day sometimes. You might have to go do your nine to five. And then after your nine to five, you're working on your YouTube for two or three hours. Then you got to take care of your kid because you're a single mom. Like, then you spend time with God. Well, you do that when you probably first wake up or when you go to sleep. However your schedule is. Like, I know what it's like to be doing a million things at once and feeling like, oh my gosh, can I handle this? I'm going to tell you right now, you can handle it. Okay? There's going to be days where you're just like, I don't want to do nothing. I need to rest. Rest. Okay? rest so you can be rejuvenated and tackle the next day but just know this is not gonna be forever if you're having a grind super hard right now you know and it seems like there's not enough time in the day i definitely get it just know one day it will pay off okay it's it's not going to be like this forever god sees your you know your hard work god sees your enthusiasm god sees that you are you're not giving up and keep your faith like know that this is all for something you know, and there's a scripture in the Bible. It's like, do every work like we are working for the Lord. So when you go to your nine to five, you need to be working your nine to five like you are working for the Lord. You need to be working at nine to five like God is the boss. Okay. You know, you're going to do everything you need to do. If God is watching over you, which he is, and you're answering to him and you're trying to please him. So work your job like you are working for the Lord. Don't feel bad if you're slacking in the area. 
I'm slacking in a couple of areas. You know, it'll all even out. Don't beat yourself up. Don't just be like, oh, I'm slacking. I'm just going to forget all of it. It's no point. Do what you can do. So, yeah, I came here to say that. I just hope this uplifts you and motivates you to keep going and conquer your dreams and never give up. And also just know it's okay to not have this aesthetic lifestyle that a lot of people are living right now. You know, not everybody gets paid from social media. That's not the norm. It might seem like it's the norm, but there's still people out there working a nine to five. Okay. Grind that out. If you love the nine to five, do it. Okay. You don't have to have your own business. You don't, that's another thing. You don't have to be a business owner. Like if this is what you love to do and that's what you want to put all your time into, do it. There is no right or wrong way to do it. As long as you are doing something, providing for your family, doing what you got to do and you're showing up shout outs to you okay but yeah that's it y'all i just had to come here and say that because i feel like i've got you know i definitely got um that that's had me in a chokehold before too that's had me stagnant before because i want the aesthetic and i want this and i want that and it's just like sometimes that's not real life and even for the people that it's real life for sometimes it's not even real life okay this journey it might have its hard times but it also has its rewarding times live in the present notice the little things in life and stop looking over the now because we're so look like we're so fixated on the future we're worried about what the future looks like you also need to spend time in the now you know if you have small kids or just kids in general and you're hanging out with them we don't need to think about like oh, okay how's this bill getting paid how's this get bill getting paid next month like i got the bills paid now but how are they getting paid next month leave next month for next month the bills are paid today the bills are paid now your little one is in front of you now they want to play they want to do this they want to go this place or that place to the park whatever spend time you know we can't get time back the bill's gonna be there every month. <laughs> we'll worry about them when they get here, right? I pray you guys have a blessed day, you know, and I always see God above all else. Like, if you are feeling overwhelmed and you just need to stop and take a break and go in the closet and cry to the Lord, do it, okay? There's no rules there when it comes to resting. Like, just don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. But if you need a break, you need a breather, and you let out some tears, that's okay. So yeah, I'm here to say that because I know inflation is real. I know times are hard and I know the economy sucks. I love you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and send this message to anybody you feel like needs this message. And yeah, hope to see you guys again. Bye.